Well, hello everybody. It is week 12. Woohoo! We made it. Well, guess what? We're going to go ahead and get started. Let's start off with history today. Here we go. History is, tell me about the Muslim Empire. In 622, Islam was founded in the Arabian Peninsula by Muhammad, who worshipped Allah. Mecca is the holy city of Islam. During the 1400s, the Ottoman Turks expanded the Muslim Empire. Boom, 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 In 622, Islam was founded by the Arabian Peninsula by Muhammad, who worshipped Allah. Mecca is the holy city of Islam. During the 1400s, the Ottoman Turks Expanded the Muslim Empire. Boom 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 boom. In 622, Islam was founded in the Arabian Peninsula by Muhammad, who worshipped Allah. Mecca is the holy city of Islam. During the 1400s, the Ottoman Turks expanded the Muslim Empire. Boom 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 boom. In 622, Islam was founded in the Arabian Peninsula by Muhammad, who worshipped Allah. Mecca is the holy city of Islam. During the 1400s, the Ottoman Turks expanded the Muslim Empire. Boom 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 boom. You got it. Well, that was our history. Let's go ahead and move on to. Latin. We have fifth declension noun endings. We did this last week. Ace, ee, ee, like a baby. E, m, a. So, ace, ee, ee, m, a. And then for plural, we have ace, aram, ebus, or abus, ace, abus. Let's try it. Here we go. Singular. Ace, ee, ee, m, a. Ace, ee, ee, m, a. Ace, e, 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 m, a, singular fifth declension. Ace, aram, abus, ace, abus. Ace, aram, abus, ace, abus. Ace, aram, abus, ace, abus. Plural fifth declension. Ace, a, e, a, e, m, a. Ace, a, e, a, e, m, a. Ace, a, e, a, e, m, a. Singular fifth declension. Ace, aram, abus, ace, abus. Ace, aram, abus, ace, abus. Ace, aram, abus, ace, abus. Plural fifth declension. Let's move on. We have our English prepositions. For English prepositions, we have been doing, can you believe it? All of these prepositions we have learned. We are on the last three. And we have with, within, without. Let me tell you a little story about these with using Sarah. Well, hello, boys and girls. It's so good to see y'all today. Guess what? I have a story to tell you. So let me tell you a story about Sarah. Sarah came to school today with, let's see, with... Nathan! Hi, Nathan! Within one day, they learned about Jesus and history and science, math, geography, Latin, English, and the timeline. After the school day was over, it was lunchtime, but Sarah noticed she was without a lunch. So, Nathan shared his lunch with Sarah. Thank you, Nathan! How about one more of our students? Let's see. How about Callan? Callan. Sarah came to school today with Callan. Within one day, they learned about Jesus, history, 
science, math, geography, Latin, English, and the timeline. After, after the school day was over, it was lunchtime, but Sarah noticed she was without a lunch. So Callan shared her lunch with Sarah. Thank you so much, Callan. That was so nice for sharing with me. Bye, y'all. Bye. Well, Sarah had a lot to say, didn't she? We also had a few other things. Sarah graduated with her honors. Sarah was in bed with the flu. Sarah woke up with a terrible fever. I don't like tea with milk, she said. How about the word within? Within one day, Sarah flew to the, Sarah flew to the state of Alabama. <laughs> they found termites within the walls. Within the walls, they found termites. Now, Sarah can go see y'all, but she has to come back within 10 minutes. Let's try the word without. We would die without air. I built this table without any help. Without water, the plants will die. Those are how we use some of those words, with, within, without. Those are our prepositions for this week. With, within, without. All right, let's go ahead and move on to science. We had so much fun today in science because we did something really cool. We put on our hats. I brought all these hats for everybody and we put on our sunglasses and we rocked this song it was so much fun it was cool y'all you ready let's learn this song about plant systems are you ready all right so the song we gotta sing is what are some plant systems these are some plant systems what are some plant systems these are some plant systems Photosynthesis, eating up sunlight, respiration, making air, all right. Transpiration, when they get thirsty, drinking up water until they're about to bursty. What are some pu -pu 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 plant systems? These are some pu -pu 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 plant systems. What are some pu -pu 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 plant systems? These are some pu -pu 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 plant systems. All right, let me tell you what those are. Photosynthesis. We have photosynthesis. Plants take in carbon dioxide and water. Sunlight converts them into food. So that's why I use the part of the song that says, photosynthesis eating up sunlight. What is it doing? It's eating up sunlight. Yeah? Then we have respiration. Well, let me tell you. Plants take in oxygen and give off carbon dioxide. So that's why we say respiration making air all right. Respiration is making air all right. All right, we have the last one is transpiration. Transpiration, water vapor is given off through the pores of leaves. So we have transpiration when they get thirsty. Drinking up water until they're about to burst it. Yeah, let's try it. What are some pu -pu 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 plant systems? These are some pu -pu 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 plant systems. What are some pu -pu 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 plant systems? These are some pu -pu 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 plant systems. Photosynthesis, eating up sunlight, respiration, making air all right. Transpiration, when they get thirsty, drinking up water until they're about to burst it. Last time. What are some pu -pu 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 plant systems? These are some pu -pu 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 plant systems. What are some pu -pu 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 plant systems? These are some pu -pu 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 plant systems. Photosynthesis, eating up sunlight, respiration, making air, all right. Transpiration, when they get thirsty, drinking up water until they're about to burst it. Yeah. We had so much fun doing that. That was awesome. And so you can practice that song with our science. We learned about photosynthesis, respiration, and transpiration, and those are plant systems. Let's go ahead and go on to geography. We've been learning about the Muslim Empire. 
the Muslim Empire is right here. And so let me show you in our map. We had Mecca, Medina. Mecca is on the bottom. Medina is the one on top. Then we had Baghdad. Baghdad is right here on the Tigris River. So you see that river flowing down? It's right there on the Tigris River. Then we had Tours in France. Whoa! Tours is way over here. Way over there. There's Tours, the purple dot in France right here. Then we had Damascus. It's the green dot right there. And it's in Syria. Here is Syria. There is Syria. And it's all by the Mediterranean Sea. Quack, quack. All right, so let's try our song. This song is to the wise men built their house upon the rock. So let's start building our house with our hands. Here we go. The wise men built, I'm sorry, we're singing this song. The Muslim Empire, Mecca, Medina. Baghdad sits on the Tigris River. Tours in France, Damascus in Syria. By the Mediterranean Sea. Quack, quack. The Muslim, em the Muslim Empire, Mecca, Medina. Baghdad sits on the Tigris River. Tours in France, Damascus in Syria. By the Mediterranean Sea. Quack, quack. Last time. The Muslim Empire, Mecca, Medina. Baghdad sits on the Tigris River. Tours in France, Damascus in Syria. By the Mediterranean Sea. Quack, quack job with geography. Well, let's see. Let's keep moving. So we did our history, Latin, science, geography, English, and we still got to do our math and our timeline. All right, let's go ahead and jump to timeline. But before we do timeline, I need my special helper. So let me call her. Let me see. Addie! Yeah? Can you grab me some water? So I need some water. I'm actually um, not parched, but I need some water to show you our math. So we'll do that in just a little bit. And Addie, my special little helper, is going to come help me. And let's see. So we have Genghis Khan rules the Mongols. You want to help me? No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> she said no. She doesn't want to help. That's okay. She's actually painting arts and crafts. So, Genghis Khan rules the Mongols. England's Magna Carta. Ottoman Empire. Marco Polo's journey to China. The Hundred Years' War and Black Death, the Renaissance, China's Ming Dynasty. Now, let me show you how we're going to do those. We're gonna pretend like we're a big elephant. Genghis Khan rules the Mongols, England's Magna Carta. Ottoman Empire, Marco Polo, just journey to China, the Hundred Years' War, and the Black Death, the Renaissance, China's Ming Dynasty. Genghis, Genghis Khan rules the Mongols, England's Magna Carta. Ottoman's Empire, Marco Polo's journey to China, the Hundred Years' War, and the Black Death, the Renaissance, China's Ming Dynasty. Gang, let's see, Genghis Khan rules the Mongols, England's Magna Carta. 
Ottoman Empire, Marco Polo's journey to China, the Hundred Years' War, and the Black Death, the Renaissance, China's Ming Dynasty. Good job. Let's see. After we did our timeline, we had math. For our math, let me show you what we had. I actually wanted to show you what we did for math. We used teaspoons. This is a teaspoon. I'm sorry, this is a tablespoon. And this one is the teaspoon. It's smaller, do you see? Tablespoon, teaspoon. And this one right here is one fluid ounce. One fluid ounce, okay? So, we learned today that three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. We poured three of those into here. Then we found two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. So, let's try and see if we can do that. We are going to... I kind of needed Addie's help, but she didn't want to help me. Okay, let's see. So, we're going to try this out. All right. Let me just scoop up some water. There's one. One teaspoon. Two teaspoons. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Do you see? All right, let's see. We needed two tablespoons for one fluid ounce. Let's see. There's one tablespoon. There's the second tablespoon. Let's see. Yep, that's right. There's one tablespoon equals, yes? So we had two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce and three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. We did a song today and it goes like this. We used this picture to show us that three teaspoons equals one tablespoon and two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. And the song we're going to sing today is this one. All right, here we go. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. Three teaspoons equals one tablespoon. Two tablespoons equals one fluid ounce. You got it. And that was our math. I hope y'all enjoyed all of our memory work this week for week 12. It has been awesome. And let me go ahead and share with you what we did for presentation and also for science. For presentation, we worked on tone. Varied, mo not monotonous or melodramatic. Monotonous means dull, tedious, Repetitious, lacking in variety and interest. Melodramatic means over emotion, dramatic or exaggerated. Then also we worked in science on um, classifying living things into their kingdoms and we observed the similarities and the differences. And so we did just that with this incredible poster that we made showing the kingdoms of living things. 
and we had our vertebrates, like fish, amphibians, mammals, birds, invertebrates, which were the, um, do you remember our song? What are the major groups of invertebrates, mollusks, sponges, and sea stars? Ba 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 ba. Stinging cell animals, flatworms, roundworms, segmented worms, and arthropods. And we saw all of them, yes? But they're all in the animalia. Animalia vertebrates and invertebrates. Then we also had, let's see, plantae, seed bearing. Monocots, dicots, conifers. Remember? We did the baby shark, monocot, do, 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 dicot, do, 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 conifer were the cones, seed bearing, and then we did non seed bearing like algae and moss, and yes, so that looked really cool here. And then we had, which one was this one? We had fungi. This was fungi. The words covered up because we had so many cool pictures like mushrooms and truffles and bread mold. Ooh, fungi. Then we had bacteria. Ooh, do you remember the bacteria? Ooh, bacteria, a microorganism that lives everywhere. And they live everywhere, even on my hands. Bacteria is everywhere. Well, archaea is the same thing, except they just live in harsh climates. And so they almost look alike. Do you see how those look very similar? But somebody said something that was really cool today. They said, I said, um, people are different. God made all things different and unique with variety. And then someone said, well, what about twins? That's right, even some twins sometimes look alike, but they have different names, don't they? They have their own identity. They're not exactly the same. Even their names are different, just like bacteria and archaea. They're microorganisms, which are the same, but they have different names. That's right, so God made everything unique and different and for his glory. Then we had, which one was this one? Um, Protista, 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 everything that isn't animal, plant, or fungi. Yes, like mold and mildew. And then we had, what were, did I do them all? Let's see, I think so. Yep, and that was our kingdoms of living things. Kingdoms of living things. And we did that to, um, what are the kingdoms of living things? The kingdoms of living things. We did it to um, the Adams family. So I hope you all enjoyed that for science. And then I'll do another video for Tin Whistle. For Tin Whistle, we just uh, reviewed today. But I hope to see y'all again. Have an awesome winter break and I'll see you back. Merry Christmas.